All right, guys, welcome back to another Flight Test Tech channel. That's right, this is our new tech channel. This isn't our main channel, so make sure you subscribe. This is where you're gonna find all of our educational and resource-based videos. Make sure you subscribe. Today's a special day because as you can see, we got another new airplane, and it's not just any airplane. This is a flight test design, actually in collaboration with our good friend and flight test community member, Ben Harbor. Now this thing is the FT commuter, and as you may or may not have guessed, this is based off of a Cessna 150, and anybody who has any kind of background in aviation probably has a sweet spot in their heart for a good classic Cessna 150. Cool thing about this is, is this is designed by Ben Harbor and Ben Harbor actually has a lot of family history dating back specifically with this Cessna 150, the commuter. Ben and his dad both learned to fly in a plane like this and they were actually taught by his grandpa and Ben actually took the time to share with us some of the memories that he's had as I have also had with my dad in a Cessna 150 and a lot of you guys out there might have a similar story as well. But Ben was flying in this little Cessna 150, the real ones, as early as he can remember to the point where he was sitting on a phone book and his grandpa, Grandpa Al is what he calls him, he actually put two by fours on the rudder pedals so he could start teaching Ben at a very young age how to manage the controls. So it's coming from a very special place in Ben's heart and he wanted to build this plane not only to commemorate his awesome grandpa, but also share some of the lessons with you guys in the community so maybe you can learn something about aviation just like Ben was able to learn from his grandpa way back in the day. Now if you guys aren't familiar with flight tests we have over 60 scratch built airplane designs some of them that are this size some of them that are medium size some of them that are very large and they are all built out of foam board and common materials that you can get from the dollar store such as barbecue skewers popsicle sticks hot glue guns. Now we also provide free plans and if you're watching this video the free plan for this guy is available. So what you can do is you can download the free plans, print them out on your printer at home, go to the dollar store, get your material, trace out the plans, cut it out, and you can build a Cessna yourself just like this one. We also offer a speed build kit. And basically what it is, is it is a pre-laser cut kit. It's still all the same materials, but the idea is, is that they come pre cut so it's going to save you a lot of time i like to tell people we don't sell airplane kits we just sell convenience so if you want to save the four to five hours of printing out those plans tracing them and cutting them with a straight edge and a razor blade you can pick one of these up for pretty cheap on our store and it's going to save you a lot of time get you in the air a lot faster the overall build experience of this thing is really unique and that is because it's using a new build style that andrus and josh kind of formulated when they released our previous plane the a10 warthog now as you guys can see see the A10 has a very cool geodesic shape to it. It's got the, the hard edges still, but you're able to make these complex shapes by kind of bending the pieces together. This little Cessna is no different. And the cool thing that Josh was telling me is that if you can actually build this little tiny Cessna, you can build the A10 no problem because the build techniques go hand in hand. And overall, it's a pretty easy build and it's also extremely easy to fly. Now, one of the things I will say is that when you get into a plane this small, it's gonna be a little bit more susceptible to things like wind gusts and stuff like that. So when you do go out to fly, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're keeping an eye on that weather. The calmer, the better. But if you get this thing on a nice, calm sunset evening, uh, it's gonna be a dream to fly. Cool thing about this little guy compared to a bigger plane like the A-10 is this is one and a half sheets of foam. So smaller pieces, it's gonna fold together a little bit easier. You're gonna be able to hold things in your hand and get those glue joints to properly seal. Honestly, building these mini planes like this has been one of my favorite things to do because they're not hard to handle you don't need a huge workspace. Um, you can build them on your kitchen table at home. Setting this thing up is pretty easy. It can be set up as a four channel or a three channel. And what I mean by that, I have set it up and most of my flying on the Cessna has been done with a four channel. Basically what people mean when they say four channel is you have four things hooked up to your controller. Uh, one being the throttle, you're controlling the speed of the motor. The other one is your ailerons, which is controlling your roll authority on the plane. The third one is your or pitch or your elevator. The elevator back here on the plane controls the nose up and nose down attitude. And then the last one is your rudder, which is yawing the airplane right and left. Kind of like you move your head left and right and look left to right. Now the three channel setup, and this thing actually can fly on three channel, believe it or not, is just 
throttle, the elevator, which is your pitch, and then rudder. And because of the dihedral in this wing and just the overall good design of a Cessna, it kind of has a little bit of self-correcting tendencies. So you can actually fly the airplane just with elevator and rudder and throttle. And it makes it more of a docile, almost like a trainer experience. The overall experience though for this plane is trainer. So it's a good introduction to four channel if you've maybe only flown on a three channel and you're looking to upgrade to the aileron control, maybe try some rolls and loops, this thing will do all of that, which is pretty fun. My favorite thing about the flight experience is it's just a relaxing plane to fly. It just flies tried and true. It's, I mean, it's a Cessna. It flies just like a real Cessna does. Now, the battery is running off of an 800 milliamp two cell. Josh told me that specifically, it just runs off of a two cell and that goes all the way up in the nose through a hatch on the bottom of the plane, which is pretty cool because you don't have to worry about taking the wing off or anything like that. Now, the experience flying the plane is very trainer. I mean, that's what Cessnas were kind of designed for and that's specifically what Cessna 150s are used for. Most trainer fleets across the United States anyways are all Cessna 150s, 152, 172s and this thing flies just like it. I've flown the real ones and this one fl flies just like it, just on a smaller scale. That being said, it is capable of your basic aerobatic. I've been able to do my basic inverted passes, full rolls, barrel rolls, loops, you name it, this thing will do it, depending on your flying ability. Overall, the plane is pretty remarkable how easy and gratifying it is, not only to put together, but also to fly. Now, it is running off of a Power Pack A. Power Packs are basically just a package that comes with everything you need to power your plane, from the motor, to the servos, uh, to the electronic speed controller, which controls the RPM of the motor. Um, basically, everything you need to power your plane, excluding a battery and a receiver. Um, so it just helps take kind of the guesswork out of scratch building your first airplane. You get this kit, you get a power pack, and as long as you have a radio receiver and a battery, you're gonna be good to go flying this thing. One of the other things that I know this plane probably wasn't originally designed for that I've really been enjoying is FPV. You guys have probably seen the FPV footage throughout this video. As you may have guessed, I've been having a blast with this little thing FPV, and there's a couple reasons for it. One is the placement of the camera on top of the wing right there just makes it feel like you're sitting right in the seat of the Cessna and it brought me back to my days in high school flying in a little 150 with my dad and I'm sure Ben if you ever go out and fly this thing FPV it's going to bring you right back into that seat on the phone book with the two by fours on the rudder pedals flying with your grandpa Al. It was a blast. The other thing that really adds to the experience is having the rudder. A lot of FPV fixed wing planes they don't have rudders. they are flying wings or something similar to that. And having that rudder is super nice. It makes it very easy to line up your nose and shoot some gaps as we were flying around Edgewater here, flying through and around trees and stuff like that. Beyond that, I actually really like the two cell power. It's not a ballistic missile. It flies like a real Cessna. So when you're climbing and that thing is just putzing up into the air and you're sitting in the cockpit, it feels like you're really in a Cessna. So, so if you do end up building the FT commuter, you're gonna have a ton of fun with it, line of sight, no doubt, but I would also highly recommend putting a little simple FPV system on there and go out there and have an FPV adventure yourself. We'll put some informational links down below to help anybody who's new to the hobby. Basically the recommended stuff that we would recommend along with this plane to get started so you can build and fly on your own. We've been having a ton of fun with this thing. We've been flying it off the balcony here at Edgewater and just really putting it through its paces and it is a great little plane and we're super excited to share it with all of you guys out there. And we want to see your builds too. Let us know down in the comments if you plan on building one. Also hashtag flight test on Instagram and Twitter. And huge shout out to the awesome community members, specifically you, Ben Harbor, man. Keep doing what you're doing. He's been an instrumental part of the community. And we want to thank him personally for not only sharing his plane, but also sharing his memories that he had with his grandpa Al. And uh, this video is for you, grandpa Al. So until the next one, guys, uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.